minutes. We'll see you then. And she just feeds it to us. Yes. Well, today's show is about the strange and awesome power of the mind. Our next guest is the author of Quantum Leap Thinking, and he's here to demonstrate the powerful effects of hypnosis. Please welcome James Mapes to the show. James. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just, you know, I mean, we've all heard and seen hypnosis done, but just quickly, let's talk a little bit about what you believe hypnosis does. What I, well, first of all, what it is is not what most people think. That's it's relaxed right. concentration. It's not sleep. It's not really even a trance. It happens every day of your life. And the tool, when it's focused, uh, I guess number one would be stress reduction. That'd be perfect for your home audience. Right. right. Stress reduction yeah. and childbirth for relaxing. Yeah. I, I've used it with my, my stepdaughter. Uh, for, well, where uh, were you when we were all in pain? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, I sound bitter about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. And then on the heavier side, but not so heavy because it's quality of life, is pain reduction for terminally ill cancer patients. Mm -hmm. Pain reduction is the one area. Athletics. So what it is is relaxed concentration. It's not, the hypnotist doesn't actually hypnotize anyone. The individual does. I become more of a coach. Mm -hmm. And the problem with hypnosis is people get the you words You cannot get hypnotized if you don't want to. That's right. No one right. can make you be hypnotized and of course you hypnotize these people our audience members earlier right so that that's the legal thing to do because we would be afraid then if you at home are folding your laundry pretty soon <laughs> you, would you would get be hypnotized well that the can't tree. happen it just can't happen okay now you're gonna do a demonstration with these yep. people okay I'm, we going have to, I'm gonna Kim, show you I'm Jeannie gonna, right? and Jimmy I'm gonna show us. you a word just look at the okay. word okay. at the count of two I want you both to say the word okay that's mm -hmm. all I want you to do all right one two rainbow and that is called a post hypnotic suggestion in other words instead of saying when I tell you to go back to sleep I said when they hear the word from you yes right. so if we take this and just trip it over one more what if I taught them the word and then taught them how to attach a suggestion to it that would enhance, say, for stress reduction or for whatever, creative thinking, creativity. Mm -hmm. Sure. And uh, so they're already in state. But if okay, you're not really see. sleeping when you're doing hypnosis, why are they doing that? Because it is, there is no tension. But they're going to be, we're going to do age regression. Okay. Let's All see right. what happens. Well, let's do, no, let me do sure. one thing here. I'm going to do this. Uh, this is, okay, let's just do it. Okay, deeper to sleep, let yourself go. And they aren't really to sleep, but people expect it. Expectation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. reality. Uh, you can't remember the number eight. Number eight no longer exists for you. You cannot hear the number eight, and you cannot see the number eight, but you won't remember that I told you that. Wide awake. Good. You feel okay? Mm hmm Good. What's two and two? Four. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. What's three and three? Six. What's four and four? Count from one to ten. Put your hands out, count from one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. Nine and ten. Okay. Now you tell her what four and four is, and she won't hear you because you've altered her sense of perception. Yeah. Do, do, if you look at your anything. fingers, four and four is eight. What's that four and four? <laughs> All right, let me, can we do an improv here? All right. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, all Go wide James. awake, all three of you come with me. Come on back here. What I want you to do, I'm gonna give you a, a marker. I want you to put your full signature up here, just like you would sign your signature, right? Okay? Full signature right here. Full signature right up on top. Good. Stay on your feet, sleep. Stay on your feet, sleep. Stay on your feet, sleep. You're going back in time. You're 12 years old. Everything is as it was when you were 12 years old. You're safe. You're happy. You're here with me. You're 12 years old. Wide awake. How old are you? 12. Would you put your name right here, please? Wide awake. How old are you? 12. Would you put your name right here, please? Wide awake. How old are you, Kimberly? 12. Good. Would you put your name right here, please? Age regression, and it's kind of condensing a phenomena that can be used to retrieve information or alter uh, our perception of phobia. Sleep. You're five years old. Everything is as it was when you were five years old. You're safe, you're happy, you're here with me. You're five years old, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Would you put your name right here, please? Put your name right here. Put your name right here. And by the way, obviously, Jim, Jimmy's name became legible uh, at 12. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think Jimmy slipped away after 12. And many times what has happened is I have, <laughs> tell me what kind of cake did you have at your birthday party? Did you have a birthday party at five? Yeah. What kind of cake? It was a holy hobby cake. A holy what? A, a holy, holy hobby. Oh, holy, holy hobby, hobby cake. Holly holly was the bomb. Do you, do you have toys? Yeah. Where do you keep your toys? In a toy box, a if, pink one. Pink one. If you were to look in that toy box right now, what's your most favorite of all your toys? My holly hobby doll. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep. <laughs> 
Good. Good. Did you play any games at your Did you have a birthday party at five, Jimmy? I think so, yes. Yeah, when I touch your forehead, you'll know. Did you have a birthday party? Yes. Good. Okay, sleep. Sleep, you're coming back to your normal age. Everything is as it was before. Wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. How old are you? Five. Wide awake. How old are you now? Back I'm to normal. 30. Good. I'm not going to ask this to. That's not fair. Okay? <laughs> I was going to tell you. Oh, yes. Okay, so James, other than wanting to be five or 12 again, this is actually therapy that I've used in the past to get rid of phobias, to discover and alter perceptions of events that took place in childhood. So it's just relaxing to the point where you can take yourself back. Exactly. Well, you can do that, and that's called what? Past life like regression. Regression. See? It's all old and then new again. All old and then new. <laughs> wow. If Good. only I could just see a rainbow. When we return, oh. we'll see a live demonstration of <laughs> well, it worked, hypnosis worked, 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 worked. and how powerful it can be. That's coming up right next. Today, James Mapes, master hypnotist, is here with us. Okay, James. Okay. Everybody in our audience has one of these, and we do too. What are we doing? All with these? this is to demonstrate thoughts into action. Hold it out in front of you like this, and I want you to imagine or visualize. Look at this washer and imagine it going around in a circle. You don't have to do anything. See it in your mind. Imagine this thing swinging like a pendulum around in a circle. Make the circle bigger. Good. Good. Bigger. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, make Good. it Good, excellent. Do it. Now just look at, imagine it going back and forth from your left to your right. Just imagine a left, right, <gasps> left, oh my right, gosh. left, right, left, right, left. Good. Good. Now just now. Are you guys trying to do that? Are you holding it still? You know, actually look they're at not it trying. Stop. Now, what this shows, let me tell you why this happens, why people are playing with this. Whenever we have a thought, neurons fire in the brain, creating electricity. It hits the central nervous system, and this moves. You could actually hold your wrist now. Take your other hand, hold your wrist that's holding the string in the washer, and imagine it going around in a circle again. You're going to see it still goes around in a circle. The reason it's going around in a circle is physiologically your body's moving. <laughs> You're, obviously, your hands are making going around a circle. When you start to understand the concept behind this, you'll understand why. Those of you who are listening at home, if you close your eyes and think of the most relaxed place outdoors, how can you not, how can, physiologically, how can you not go to where you're thinking? Sure. Okay, I'm thinking that lots of money is coming my way. <laughs> <laughs> well, how could somebody, you know, there, there's, we have these people, they're watching at home, and they're saying, well, that's all well and good. You can make the washer go around. You can make it go back and forth. But how can I apply that to my own life? First of all, stress reduction. And this has to be proactive. You have to sit down for five or six minutes, mm -hmm. close your eyes, do a couple deep breaths, which centers you, and imagine the most relaxed place outdoors that, you, that you've ever been. That's the first step to visualization. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right? You put yourself in a relaxed state, then you can start to visualize yes. what you want. Exactly. Now, that's another, that's another challenge. That's another I love that, though. But there's a reason it works. Sure. Right. I mean, if you look around you and notice everything that's red in the audience, look around real fast and notice everything that's red. Got it. Now look at me yeah. and tell me everything that was yellow. Right? The mind sees what it's prepared to see. Visualization prepares your mind to see what you didn't see before. I call it making the invisible visible. Yes. And you can bring things to you, to your consciousness. Yes. By just thinking about it a lot. Yes. So don't worry, because if you worry, I get worried if I worry, <laughs> then I'll bring those bad things. Well, so actually, I, the better suggestion is think of good things. I do. Because the <laughs> suggestion of don't worry, what's the picture? Yeah, I know. Worrying. worrying. I know. <laughs> yeah. James, thank you. Thank My you pleasure. For being thank here. you for having me. This was fun. It was very good. Okay, coming up, we'll tell you and your friends. You can show your talents right here on national television. You know about it. Hang with us. Hook up with us on our website at www.cnmshow.com. You've got that nighttime heartburn burning and churning, so what are you going to take, Santac 75 or Maalox? Maalox starts to work on stomach acid in about one minute. Santac 75 could take over 45...
Fujiwara's Scarlet Fox. He close combo those